We begin this thread with this problem. Mary has 26 marbles, Jennifer has 35. How many do they have all together? These words all together should be recognizable for students in second and third grade as a sum. So we're going to just do a two digit addition. Back in the second grade standards, we focused a lot on images and pictures and visualizations. One of the things we did there was use bar charts. So in second grade, what we would have done is perhaps uh, drawn a bar that had a a length of 26, another bar that's a little longer that represents a, a length of 35, and when you put them next to each other you have the total length which is represented by this bar, and the question that's raised is, is how long is this bar? And that's a, a way that younger students can visualize addition. Uh, another way to do it is with counting. Um, we'll start with a chip chart, for example, here, where the number 26 is represented by a 2 over here on the left. This is the tens place. It's kind of implicit. And here's the ones place over here. So here's a 2 in the tens place, and 6 ones represents 26. And 35 is represented by 3 dots in the, th in the tens place and 5 in the ones place. To add them, basically what we're going to do is just add up the, the chips in both uh, both sides, but what we what we see is that we can regroup. We have 11 chips over here and 10 of them can be moved over to the tens place so that we end up with six in the tens place and then these are no longer present. We only have one left over in the ones place and so we get 61. So both of these are uh, in the second grade standards uh, because we're starting on uh, with images and, and pictures. In third grade, we're moving more towards procedures, and so we're going to do one more visualization type of thing just to kind of take it one more step abstractly, and that's to use a place value chart, which is really just learning to structure the, the algorithm of addition. If we draw two columns, one with the tens place and one with the ones place, now we can write the number 26 with, instead of chips, the abstract numeral, this symbol 2 and the symbol 6 over here, it's a little bit more difficult than drawing dots there. Um, but this is the 26, and then we've got 35, which is represented as a 3 in the tens place and 5 in the ones place. And now, just like we would have done with the chips, we're, we're adding together the numbers in the ones place. We get 6 and 5 is 11, and in the tens place we get 2 and 3 is 5. And now, once again, what we're going to do is rewrite this because we don't want to have more than 10 ones in the ones place. We want to group this into a 10 and a 1, this 11, into 10 plus 1. And then we'll take this 10 and move it over to the tens place as a single 10 rather than as 10 ones. This is 1 10 instead of 10 ones. And now the final step is to, of course, regroup or combine the tens and we get uh, six tens and one one and so our final answer is 61 as it was before and the um, this, this action here that's going to be done a lot is called composing when we take a a number of a, a, a number that's larger than the number of ones here and regroup so that we take 10 of them and move them into the tens place and leave only one one and one ten that's called composing we're composing this these a lot of little values a lot of single values into a set of one large value of 10 plus a one and we do that with composing from tens to a hundreds as well and and to the higher powers of 10. If we had 10 tens or 11 tens, we would take 10 of them and make that into a, a single hundred. So that's called composing, and you'll hear that word a lot. And in subtraction, of course, we decompose working the other direction.